Microsoft Power BI Premium comes with a lots of advanced analytics features as well as it comes at a cost. But do you really need Microsoft Power BI Premium? Well, we will get to know in this video. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. My name is Ajay Kumar and in this video, we will try to figure it out that do you really need Microsoft Power BI Premium or you can also work without it. Well, in order to figure it out, we have to talk about certain points. And in this video, I'm going to tell you top 5 reasons that you should say goodbye to Microsoft Power BI Premium. So let's see what are those. So here on your screen now, you can see the top 5 points that I have listed it out. So let's talk about them one by one. The very first comes the cost. Microsoft Power BI Premium comes with a hefty cost. That means whenever you have to use Microsoft Power BI Premium license, you have to pay based on the nodes. That means P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5, or also there are different SKUs like A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. So if you are gonna come over here on Microsoft website, I'm gonna provide you a link in the description section so you can have a look about the cost of different licenses provided by Microsoft. In my previous videos, I have already discussed how you can choose the perfect license for you. As I just mentioned, Microsoft Power BI Premium comes with a hefty cost. That means even you have to use the minimum capacity of Power BI Premium, that is P1, you have to pay around 5000 USD per month. It is a capacity based license and it is a dedicated capacity for your organization. But do you really need it? Or you can also work without it. So let's see what are other factors that you should consider before choosing Microsoft Power BI Premium. So over here, point number two is the feature. So what kind of feature you are looking over here? Whether you want to use some of the advanced analytics feature or you want to use the Power BI data marts and you want to do some of the machine learning stuff, etc., then you can go for the premium. But do you really need it? Or you simply don't want to use them? So decision is yours. So you have to choose wisely. And where you can find the different features of Microsoft Power BI Premium? Well, if you're gonna come on this website once again, here you would get the list of all the feature comparison between pro, premium, and premium per user. So here you can check out all the list and you can decide whether do you really want to use the premium license or not. Now let's move to the point number three. Well, point number three is the storage space. So how much storage space do you want on Microsoft Power BI service? Also, you should remember that this storage space that you are looking for is gonna come at a price. If the file size of your Microsoft Power BI report is gonna exceed one GB compressed space, that is actually a lot. For example, if you are gonna get one GB data into your Microsoft Power BI file, that is equivalent to more than 10 gigs of the data outside in your database. So do you really want that much of data or when you are going to publish that data set on Microsoft Power BI service, do you really think so that your report size is going to be that much? Just for a hint, if you really want to get that much of data set size onto your report, then I'll suggest you to divide that report into multiple small reports. That's how you can reduce that data set size and also the workload. Now, how much space we are going to get if I'm going to use Microsoft Power BI Premium? Well, in that case, you are going to get 100 TB of storage space on Microsoft Power BI service. Over here, once again, you can come down and here you can see that your maximum storage space on Microsoft Power BI service is going to be 100 TB. However, there should be another caveat over here that if you have to check your model size limit, then with the help of premium per user, you can get up to 100 gigs of data model in Microsoft Power BI Premium service. And with the help of Power BI Premium, you can get up to 400 gigs of model size in Microsoft Power BI service. But please remember that this model size is the compressed data size. That means it is being compressed 9 to 10 times. So you can multiply it by 9 to 10 times in real world. So that's how your data is get compressed when you are going to upload or publish your data model into Microsoft Power BI service. Now coming to the point number four, over here, we are gonna talk about data refresh. You have to keep in mind how many times a day your data is getting refreshed at source. With Microsoft Power BI Pro, it comes eight times a day and which is quite significant. With the help of premium per user and premium, you can refresh your data set 
up to 48 times a day. That means every half an hour you can refresh your data set. But do you really need that? So you have to ask this question to yourself. Now coming to the last point, over here we are going to talk about the number of users. So in my previous videos I have already discussed that when you can choose what kind of license that means I have explained with the different scenarios based on the number of users that you should go for what kind of Power BI license. Generally, if your number of users are going to exceeding more than 500, then you should think about the Microsoft Premium license. Otherwise, you shouldn't even think about it. Well, then how to decide whether I should go for Microsoft Power BI Premium license or not? Well, in that case, I have something for you. I have designed one Microsoft Power BI Premium decision tree with the help of this you can decide whether in your organization you really need Microsoft Power BI Premium or not. And, but before going over there you should remember that premium per user and premium license comes with the similar features except some features that I'm just going to show you. So if you would like to know that you have to come on this portal and just scroll it down. And over here, you can see that only these three features are extra with Microsoft Power BI Premium License as compared to PPU, that is Premium Per User License. And also, you should know that Premium Per User is just going to cost you 20 USD per user per month. However, Microsoft Premium License is going to cost you approximately 5000 USD per month. On the contrary, you should also remember that Premium is a dedicated capacity license while PPU is a shared capacity license. Now I have explained you all the five reasons that I say goodbye to Premium license. However, before ending this video, I would like to show you the Premium license decision tree that is going to help you whether you should use Premium license inside your organization or not. So let me show you. So over here, we are going to have a look now at Power BI Premium decision tree. So this is the decision tree that is going to help you that whether you should really use Power BI Premium License or not. I'm sure guys this decision tree is going to help you out to make a wise decision. If you would like to stay up to date with all the features of Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for all the latest Microsoft and Azure videos and updates.